guys, it's Amanda from Me Pray Crunch, and I am going to do a baby shower haul here. I had my baby shower uh, two weekends ago, and I have finally finished writing all of my thank you notes, and I thought that now that that's all done, I would set out a few of my favorite items and just show you um, some of the things that I got. First of all, as you can see here, I think I'm going to start out with the clothes, all of my favorite outfits that I got. I've mentioned before that I am not a huge fan of pink. Like I definitely don't mind having some pink in my daughter's wardrobe, but we mentioned that to our guests in the invite and they totally followed through. They got the cutest, cutest girl clothes. Um, and some of them are pink, but most of them aren't. And they are just so adorable. So let me show you some of these outfits. We'll start over here and work our way around. So here's a little sweater dress and it has this cute little details on little fox and butterflies. Isn't that cute? And these bibs, um, some family friends of my parents actually, um, she made these bibs <laughs> and the one that says spit happens. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> she said she actually made that out of a dish towel. I thought it was so cute. And I got a couple cute little cardigans and a little purple, almost like a periwinkle purple elephant outfit. You see the elephants on there? So cute. And the little ruffle butt pants. Those are just so cute. And a little blue and yellow dress and leggings outfit. And I like this coral colored dress too with little striped leggings. Isn't that cute? Look at the little heart details. And this one was one of my favorite onesies. It says up, up, and away, little balloons. A little cream color onesie, it's so cute. And then I got this set of little newborn leggings. I particularly like these little polka dot ones. And, oh my gosh, isn't this dress the cutest thing ever? I love the color, it's kind of a, a grayish blue color. It has that cute... What do you call these things? Bloomers. And a little, this is actually not a dress, it's actually a little one-piece summer suit and it has little flowers and bees on it and same with this one, it's a little one-piece summer, little summer suit. Some more really cute leggings, really like these ones too. This one's from my mom, it's, I think it's meant to be a Christmas outfit actually, which it's about nine months. So hopefully that will fit her around Christmas time. And oh my gosh, I think this one is my favorite outfit of all. This little uh, sunflower dress, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> it comes with a little hat with a bow and the little leggings. Oh, it is just, I love it so much. And one of my dear friends um, got a little pea coat for her. <laughs> and this one should fit her when she's more like a toddler. And um, it is just so cute. Um, I have a couple pea coats myself. And she knows that, and so she thought we could be little twinsies. I thought that was so cute. And then all the little accessories down here. Got a bunch of hair bows and head flower bows and whatnot. And this one right here is actually my favorite. One of my old nanny friends. I used to be a nanny once upon a time for three years. And one of my nanny friends actually made this little headband. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's a little rose. I just, I love it. It is so cute. And this cute little crocheted flower hat. I love it. And this hat, I'm actually considering maybe putting this in the, in my birth bag. I may want to add this to her little coming home outfit, but this one, um, Bill's stepsister actually knit and she's really talented and I just love the colors. There's some purples and blues and greens, which I love. Cool colors are my favorite colors. And okay, look at these shoes you got. All three of these shoes. Are these not the cutest shoes you have ever seen? <laughs> these are little, the little Roby's shoes and we absolutely love Roby's. Alex had a pair, a little monkey pair, um, when he was a little bit smaller. And they really are, you know, helpful because they have the little leather undersides, which is great when they're just learning to walk. And I just thought those were so cute. And the little owl shoes. 
and these ones for when she's still really little. Oh my gosh. Oh, so cute. She should, she could actually wear these with my little favorite outfit. Um, those are all from the same person, actually. And got a pair of baby legs. We can't go without a pair of baby legs. I thought these had really cute colors, too. So those are my favorite outfits from the shower. And let me show you a few other items as well that I got. All right, and here are a few other items I received at my shower. This is actually a hand felted little mobile that um, Bill's stepmom made. She's so crafty, I love it. We can hang this above baby girl's crib. And down here, got a couple things that I registered for. Um, this is one of these bath toy scoops. It's a much easier way to clean up bath toys. You just scoop them right out of the water and then this thing just hangs on the shower wall and drains all the water. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. And these little books here, um, these are from two of the little boys that I used to nanny for a while. Um, I thought this was really sweet. Their mom came to my shower and she said that they picked these out just for baby girl from their own personal collection. And so I thought that that was really sweet. And my, I thought this was going to be super helpful, Siblings Without Rivalry. This was a book from one of my longtime friends and she actually has three kids now. So I totally trust her judgment about <laughs> raising siblings without rivalry. So I thought that was a helpful book. And got some car seat strap covers here. These are ones that I registered for, actually. I really like the little owls. They're so cute. And some butt paste. What family does not need some butt paste with little ones around? And um, these are from my mom, actually. They took a, a trip down to the southwest in the last month or two. And um, when they were down there, she got a little dream catcher. I thought that was really sweet. I may hang that one in Alex's room, too. I'm not quite sure yet. And she got these little these little boxes. And this one is actually, we'll probably use as a tooth box for a little girl when she gets older to save all of her baby teeth. And this one is um, a little wish box or dream box. And um, you're supposed to put little slips of paper in it with your dreams and your aspirations. And I thought, oh, that's really meaningful and sweet. This is from another one of my nanny friends, actually. She recently had a baby and ended up not cloth diapering. She was thinking about it, but she ended up not doing it. And so she decided to pass these along to me. So that is super helpful since we are a cloth diapering family. I hadn't heard of this brand before, Best Bottom, but they look like they're pretty high quality. The covers have um, a double gusset, which I'm a fan of, and they has the snap down adjustable rise, which I am also a fan of. It came with these um, inserts that go with them. There are a couple of different sizes here. And these ones actually have snaps on them and they snap inside the cover. So we've usually, we've just used pre-folds all along. So this will be a nice change of pace to try using some inserts. And um, it all came in this cute little wet bag. So I'm sure that will come in handy with our cloth diapering as well. So I also got a couple gift cards to Amazon, since that's where I was registered, and um, some gift certificates to my favorite consignment shop that I've told you about. And um, so I just got a few more things off of our registry that we really needed. So I'll show you some of those. I got some just waterproof crib mattress pads. And we needed a second baby monitor. Um, I'm not a huge fan of video monitors just because I feel like you could easily become obsessive about it and like constantly checking on baby and everything. And we've just had an audio one with um, Alex and it's worked beautifully. And so we thought we'd get one for baby girl. Um, we probably won't use it right away since she'll be in our room, but once we move her into her nursery, these will definitely get some use. And over here, I got a crib mattress. I actually got this at the consignment shop. Um, the lady said it was consigned, um, which means that it's used, but I'm just wondering if it was new because it's like, it looks like it's brand new in the plastic and everything and it looks really clean and unused. But because it was consigned, I got it for $49.99. So that's a pretty good deal for a, pretty sure it's a new crib mattress. So happy about that. 
And at the consignment shop, I got a little infant bathtub. We had had one before, actually. I have it over here, I can show it to you. Um, this is the one that we had for Alex. But I just found that it really was not very conducive to a newborn. I mean, it had this little, like, newborn insert thing, but, I mean, his little legs weren't really in the water. It just kind of lifted him out of the water. And it, it felt like it didn't really hold his head up very well. And that little thing only lasted for a month or so. And then, and then there was this awkward in-between phase when he couldn't really lay down in the water. And he couldn't sit up yet. And so, I don't know. I just found that this one wasn't very helpful. It was a hand-me-down that we had got. So, um, I used um, my gift certificate to the consignment shop to get just one of these classic, classic infant bathtubs. And um, it can actually fit inside of a kitchen sink. Um, and we have one of those retractable um, nozzles on our kitchen sink. And so I thought that would just be such an easier way to bathe baby girl. And it has that awesome tilt to it. And so, um, you know, it's something that she can use until she's able to sit up by herself. So it's a really simple design, but totally worth it. And I only paid eight bucks for this thing at the consignment shop. So pretty excited about that. I almost forgot to mention this because it was already packed in my birth bag. So I pulled it out so I could show it to you. Um, but this is a birthing wrap that I got from my friend Katie, who's going to be there at the labor. This was something I had registered for actually. Um, I just wanted to have a really comfy, um, loose fitting outfit to wear while laboring and um, I found it on Amazon it's by Bamboo Mama and um, I just really liked um, the color of it it's a nice plum color it's a lot prettier than what you'd get in the hospital don't you think <laughs> and it's also it's designed for birth so it has this um, little thing that you can untie and on the inside is just you know easy access for you know, vaginal checks and um, when you're actually going into labor. And um, the nice thing about this is that it can actually be used um, after labor too for nursing. It's a really nice nursing nightgown. So I really love this thing and looking forward to wearing it in labor. Now this beautiful quilt was made by a friend of my family's. Um, we've known her since you know, I was a little kid. She was actually our dental hygienist, and I kind of reconnected with her because we were both going to massage school at the same time and kind of bonded over that. And um, anyway, she's just been a dear friend to our family. And this one is actually for Alex. Um, since she, two years ago, hadn't made it to my baby shower then, um, she, and she had been working on this beautiful quilt this whole time, um, she brought it to this shower and actually had Alex open it and oh, it is just so beautiful. I had no idea that she was even a quilter, um, but it's these beautiful blues and greens and it's perfect because it's actually a somewhat bigger quilt. And we're thinking of finally putting some pillows and covers into Alex's crib now that he's, you know, just about two and a big boy. And I just absolutely love when people put the love and the effort into making things like this. This was just so, so appreciated. I think it's beautiful. So here is our car seat. This is just Alex's old infant car seat. And I have it all decked out this time. <laughs> when it was just Alex, I just had him straight on, you know, the original cover and everything. But I decided this time we're not actually getting a new car seat, so I'll just, you know, deck it out a little bit. <laughs> and so I actually got one of these little, um, it's a J.J. Cole Bundle Me. It's just one of these little snuggly zip-in things that you put in the car seat and keeps baby warm. And you can unzip this part actually if you don't want to use it and just have the uh, fleecy part on the inside. Or you can put it up and keep baby warm like that. And that's something that I um, bought with one of the Amazon gift cards that I got and got that off my registry. Yeah, and this is just one of those little head support things. Um, my mom got this one for us actually. 
And the reason I chose this one was because it has this little hole in the back and it's supposed to help um, prevent baby's head from getting too flat in the back because that's actually something that happened with Alex. Him and his huge like 90th to 100th percentile head and always laying flat on his back, he ended up with quite a flat head <laughs> and it's it's rounded out a bit but he still has a bit of a flat head now and so um i decided to get this particular head support because it has that little hole in the back and it's made just specifically to help prevent that so we'll see if that works looks really cozy in there too and then another gift that i got off my registry is this car seat canopy i just really like this design it's kind of a magenta purpley color and I just thought the design was really pretty and girly. I had never actually gotten a car seat canopy when Alex was a little baby. I just figured that the little canopy that like comes with the car seat and kind of goes over the top was enough but I remember actually finding times when you know the sun was at a particular angle in the car or whatnot where it wasn't actually covering him enough and so um, I decided I would go for actually getting a car seat canopy this time and I think it's really cute and it also just has this like minky stuff on the other side so it's really soft. So there's the car seat all ready to go and the base is all installed in the car and ready to go so we're in good shape there. And the one final big ticket item that we got was the double stroller. So um, our families, a number of members of our families actually helped chip into helping us buy this because they knew that we weren't getting a whole lot of big stuff this time with second baby and they really wanted to help with that and so we were really thankful because we definitely would not have been able to afford it otherwise. This is like the fanciest piece of baby equipment we own. <laughs> but we are so excited about it because it is so versatile. So anyway, I'll show it to you here. This is Alex's little seat here. Um, and we have it positioned in the very front um, so that we can have the infant car seat attachment here which is another thing that we got with um, gift cards that we got from my shower is this little car seat attachment here, um, which attaches into this bracket here. Um, and I have the car seat in there just to show you how that works and the whole thing together. So it's really nice to have a stroller where, you know, your toddler can sit in front and you can just easily quickly clamp your infant car seat into the top as well and you know he's down in front where he can see everything which he really likes right now anyway and baby girl will be up on top where i can see her okay so i took the car seat out just so you can see what the infant um, car seat attachment looks like um, another thing we got with gift cards from the shower was the little console to put you know your water bottle and whatever else you want to carry with you in these little pockets here um, that was an additional feature. And we also, for when baby girl gets bigger, we got a second seat as well, which I just have over here right now. We won't be using it till she's a lot bigger. But um, what you do with that is, you know, when you're done using the car seat, you can take this thing off and the second seat attaches into the bracket here. So you can either have the two um, seats one in front of the other, or you can have them actually facing each other if the kids want to play with each other. It's really cool. So it's really versatile. I am just so excited about this stroller. It has really good cargo space in there as well, which I really like. So it can fit the big old diaper bag in there. These seats are pretty cool too because they can like recline all the way back if baby is sleeping and like even the little foot part comes up so the baby can basically be mostly flat. It is a jogger, so the front wheels actually do lock if you want to go jogging with baby, which is something I am going to definitely consider doing postpartum once I'm working on getting my body back. So um, yeah, so there is our City Select double stroller. I am so excited about it. So I was just going to show you quickly here our little setup here. We have um, our co-sleeper in the corner of our room instead of set up against our bed just because 
I remember when I was nursing Alex in the middle of the night, I ended up getting out of bed to go to the bathroom anyway. <laughs> and so I figured we would just put her off um, in the corner. It's still really close to our bed, but, um, but still a little bit of distance too, which I think will help me sleep with all the noises that newborns make. So, um, and I, this may be considered a no-no these days, but you know, I mentioned Alex and his flat head and, um, I found this pillow on Amazon and it's, I mean, it's, I guess it's technically a pillow, but it's also made to help prevent, um, your baby from getting a flat head in the back. It's the same idea as the thing in the car seat. It just has a little hole and it's this br really breathable foam. Um, so it's pretty unlikely that I think she would suffocate on something like this anyway, um, especially before she's even capable of rolling over. So I put that in our co-sleeper. And um, this was a sound machine. We actually had this exact same sound machine for Alex, but it broke. We're so sad we used it so much that it broke and the sound doesn't work properly anymore. So um, with the some of the extra gift card money on Amazon, I got a replacement sound machine as well. I really like this one. It's the Ducks Baby. So you can do like any combination of, you know, these sounds together. And we just, we really liked it. Alex really, especially liked the ocean one. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my baby shower haul. And be sure to stay tuned for upcoming videos. I am now over 38 weeks pregnant, so anything could happen at any time. So be sure that you are subscribed to uh, stay tuned with our story as it unfolds. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.